Hi, welcome back. This is another quick tip for anybody that wants to do a zoom burst type photograph but that hasn't got a zoom lens. So you can do the same thing in Photoshop and you can actually get a little bit more control this way. So uh, I've opened a picture here of a guy on a BMX bike. This is a really great effect for any subject that might have movement in it. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to duplicate my background layer. I'm going to click on the background layer and drag it down here to the new layer icon in the layers palette. That's going to duplicate the layer and I'm going to blur that copy. So I'm going to go to the filter menu now up here at the top and I'm going to choose blur, radial blur. And there are two types of radial blur. There is a spin type and a zoom type and we're going to use the zoom type. Uh, so in this case you can click and drag where you want the center of the zoom to be. This is different from when you're doing it with your zoom lens where the, the zoom burst is going to typically come from the middle of the shot. Uh, in this case I'm going to put the zoom uh, on our biker right about in the middle of where he's going to be in the picture and I'm going to let the amount go up to 30 odds pretty good in this case and I'm going to press OK and that's going to give me this zoom effect on our bike here. Now the great thing about doing it this way in Photoshop is it means you get more control. You can say which bits of the picture you want to have some focus on. And you see we've lost focus on the guy's face. So let's go to our background copy layer here and at the bottom if we click the add layer mask icon that gives us a layer mask. We can now using that layer mask and a brush, so I'm going to ch choose the brush tool which is the B key and I've got uh, a black as my foreground colour make a smaller brush, make the brush smaller with the left square bracket key and we'll use an opacity of 5 and just paint a little bit in there just to bring a little bit of focus back on the guy's face. That's probably too much so let's, uh, I've switched, I press the X key to switch to white as my foreground colour and we'll just layer back in a bit of that blur so that it doesn't look too unnatural and now I think we've got a pretty nice effect loads of movement in the shot we've got a little bit of the guy's face visible we connect with people through it through their eyes and their faces so don't don't uh, let those blow out too much if you can avoid it and there you go you got a zoom burst effect using Photoshop instead of a zoom lens thanks for watching Photo Walkthrough is a free online video show about photography and digital photo editing using Photoshop and Lightroom. Join the Photo Walkthrough community, find all the old shows, and subscribe to the new ones for free at photowalkthrough.com.